on today's on location i'm here with pj vick on the rainy river uh, we uh, were able to get out today pretty early i've never <laughs> fished on rainy river this early doesn't mean it's never gone out this early but typically we wait to shoot a show on rainy sometime second week in april that's when a lot of the bigger fish have come up but of course when we do that the show airs and it doesn't give people that watch the show enough time to use any yeah. of the cool stuff that we put in the show and uh, get out on the water and catch some fish you know after watching the show yeah. so we decided we're going to do one early this year uh, here's kind of the uh, the overview report um, birchdale uh, frontier clementson they're all open uh, there's still ice down in the lower river and of course four mile bay is still iced up but it's not going to stick around much longer it is some ugly looking ice and the river is kind of shedding miles of it a day. So by the time this airs, it wouldn't surprise me at all if it was down all the way to Wheeler's Point. Yeah, it's, it's moving pretty quick. Yeah, uh, temperatures in the morning, you get out, they're about 39 degrees. If you got some good sunshine, uh, they get up to about 42 degrees and the fish get really active. Now, I don't want anybody to think that all the, you know, the masses of big females are up in the river yet, they're not. Uh, there are some big fish present though. You got big fish honors yeah. this week, yeah. uh, 28 and three quarter, I believe mm -hmm. it was. Yeah, probably about 10 pounds or so. It yeah. was a really nice fish. Yeah. I had one that was 26 and a half um, on, a, on a rip and wrap. You got yours on a jig and minnow. Yep. Uh, but overall, uh, the number one tactic for us was just a slow upstream drag. Uh, three tenths to four tenths of a mile, three tenths to five tenths of a mile an hour. Uh, you can drag jig and minnow like PJ mm -hmm. did quite a bit. I dragged jig and plastic. I would say you probably caught more fish than I did. It, numbers wise, I, I would say so, but uh, you got you got some nice quality fish on the jig and plastic and also on your rip and wrap. So. I, I did get distracted midday, uh, switched over to the rip and wrap. Uh, just gold, gold silver was a really good color for me. Caught my biggest fish on a rip and wrap. Uh, just some tremendous hits. Yeah. Uh, you, we, I did not see that activity level in the morning. Uh, but then as you got to midday to early afternoon, the fish really kind of, they changed. Yeah. They wanted, um, you know, a bigger, a bigger plastic that was kind of pumped more, mm -hmm. jerk, you know, more of a snap to it. And then as soon as I switched over to the rip and wrap, I was, I was catching fish on that right away. So, yeah. uh, I have a lot of fun doing that. So when I have the opportunity, yeah. I throw that <laughs> rip and wrap. Yeah. Afternoons, the fish definitely were more aggressive, bigger baits. Like you said, faster pumps, even bumped up the speed a couple times and mm -hmm. triggered some more strikes. So. And the reason that the slow upstream uh, drag is working so well is the river is really low. I mean, it's mm. several feet, if not more, lower than I'm used to seeing it. There's a few more obstacles to hit. We brought the jet boat, so uh, that was a non-issue for us. But if you're going to get out there here in the next week or two, unless we get some major precipitation, be extra cautious as you run up and down the river. There's good maps, so I mean, it, mm -hmm. it's, it's avoidable, but it's uh, there's some spots that normally you could just cruise right over that might get your attention in a very bad way right yeah, now. Yeah, there was plenty of obstacles actually sticking out of the water, right. so yeah. Well, there's no excuse for hitting the hose yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for anybody. Uh, so overall, just tons of males up in the river right now. Um, you know, 14 to 20 inch males. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying they're kind of annoying, but I mean, you'll have no problem catching them. Let's just say that. Uh, everybody around us, us, we'd have passes, like single, you know, 300 yard passes, slow trolling upstream and catch a dozen. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the males are in the river, obviously given, you know, some of the fish that we caught, there are some big females in the river, but the best is yet to come. I think if I was planning a trip here in the next week or two, yeah. I would just pray for some rain. Yeah, rain rain would help us out a lot. You know, sunny days, like you said, that them are going to be your best days to be out here fishing, and uh, yeah, it's only going to get better from here for for sure. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of why we want to do this show early. Give give you guys that watch the little videos uh, a chance to put some of that information to use. If the river levels stay low, this jig dragon technique will be dynamite all the way right up to when they close the season on at midnight on the 14th of April. So that's all I've got. Can you think of anything? No, I mean it was a it was a great experience. It was it was fun. We had nice weather out here. Uh, it's not too busy, that's for sure. I mean we had plenty of room everywhere we decided to fish. This is definitely not. It's a good point. I mm -hmm. mean, there's a lot of places we fished corners with deep holes where there was no boats at all. Yeah, which is not what you come to expect from the Rainy River. So there is a bonus yeah. for being here a little bit early. So. Definitely. 
Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope some of the tips uh, are, are useful to you if you're going to come up here and fish the Rainy River. Uh, this show will air this coming Sunday. I'm just going to take a guess here because I've kind of lost track of dates, but I think that's going to be March 28th. So, Sunday. Sounds close. <laughs> and if, if I'm wrong, I apologize. So, uh, thanks for watching the video from PJ, Vic, and I. Uh, we'll see you uh, on the water somewhere next week. In Depth Outdoors on Location, presented by Reeds Family Outdoor Outfitters. Reeds offers the best service, best price, best advice on all your favorite ice fishing gear. Guaranteed. Find them online at reedsports.com.